Forget everything you thought you knew about mulching. We need to talk about the Hasteron 2000 XL 2.0. This isn't a garden tool. It's an industrial digestive system disguised as a green waste processor. The machine's handling of organic material is nothing short of breathtaking, a masterclass in calculated destruction that demands a deeper dive into its engineering. The sheer audacity of its operation begins in the ingress chamber, a cavernous 2000 by 1200 millimeter maw ready to devour the landscape. What happens next is a study in controlled chaos driven by the heart of the beast, a 200 horsepower engine. This powerhouse doesn't just kick in, it orchestrates a symphony of calibrated force, channeling raw energy into rotational mastery. Behold, we are not observing a simple operational hiccup. We are witnessing a complete geotechnical failure where a multi-ton forestry forwarder has entered a non-consensual, high-viscosity relationship with an alluvial plane. This is the tragicomic outcome when the coefficient of static friction decides to clock out early, abandoning its duties due to prolonged aggressive precipitation. The ground is no longer soil, it is a meticulously engineered trap, a non-Newtonian slurry optimized for swallowing industrial equipment whole, the stuck machine now operates less like a tractor and more like an extremely heavy anchor. Forget your grandpa's axe. We're talking industrial-grade digestion. Can you truly conceptualize the sheer, violent efficiency of 14 cubic meters of wood disappearing every 60 minutes? That's roughly 500 cubic feet of nature's stubbornness obliterated faster than you can brew a cup of specialty coffee. This level of revolutionary throughput isn't accidental, it's terrifying engineering. We invite you to analyze the mechanics of effortless annihilation. The core secret lies not in brute force alone, but in proprietary metallurgy, a synchronized ballet of razor-sharp hardened steel blades. These aren't just cutting implements, they are the thermodynamic nemesis of lumber. Small twigs, massive logs, they all meet the same destiny, total, instantaneous deconstruction. This profound efficiency demands rigorous analysis of safety protocols. The Ponce Ergo 8W C5 H7 isn't merely a machine, it's a frosty Nordic legend having silently clawed a mind-boggling 16,500 hours in the cold northern European forests. That's not a shift, that's practically a geological epoch for heavy machinery, begging the crucial analytical question, what secretive source of unrelenting durability fuels this logging marathon? Tucked beneath a robust, battleship-grade steel shell is the answer, an MB engine meticulously calibrated to deliver 286 horsepower, this isn't generic power, it's the relentless, slightly intimidating force necessary to stare down and utterly dominate logs that frankly should require special permitting. The Ergo's operational genius is centered on the C5 crane and H7 head, essentially the highly specialized, terrifyingly accurate hand of a timber surgeon. Forget the dainty dance of warehouse pallet jacks. The recent demonstration of the SV truck TMF 3222 was less a display of function and more a brutalist ballet starring the titans of logistics. This mechanical heavyweight champion showcased its specific genius effortlessly stripping massive log payloads from hauling mammoths like the 700-horsepower Volvo FH16 and the venerable Scania R620. This isn't just heavy machinery, it's an engineering paradox. How does a 90,000-kilogram operational behemoth, a machine weighty enough to discourage casual conversation, execute movements demanding surgical finesse, that's where the analytical marvel begins. Forget everything you thought you knew about forest logistics. We need to talk about the Ponce Buffalo. 
And yes, it is exactly as intimidating as it sounds. This isn't merely a log forwarder. It's the undisputed heavyweight champion of advanced transport, engineered with a robust precision that screams overkill in the best possible way. Now, let's drill down into the sheer audacity of its specifications. At its mechanical heart lies a 7.7-liter .7 engine pumping out 286 horsepower. The truly expert angle, it manages this relentless all-day thrash session while maintaining a fuel efficiency that frankly defies its immense mass. How does a machine this enormous manage to whisper sweet nothings to the fuel gauge? Forget everything you thought you knew about production timelines. We are analyzing the Bell Z8000 series, a machine that clearly operates outside the known laws of reasonable human expectation. Its throughput is terrifying. Four cords of premium hardwood per hour. That's not a typo. Analytically speaking, this single machine effortlessly matches the continuous morale-crushing output of an entire squad of highly caffeinated laborers. What demonic pact provides this stable, relentless power? A meticulously engineered 127 HP CAT diesel engine. But the real mystery lies in the processing tandem. How does it chew through the tough stuff? Let's face it, in the savage, dust-choked arena of the woodworking shop, you're either fast or you're fuel. Are you tired of machinery that whispers sweet lies about efficiency while chewing softwood like a nervous beaver? Enter the Mebor HTZ 1200 Plus, the undisputed, analytically perfect champion of rapid timber processing. This isn't just a saw, it's a meticulously engineered algorithm designed to defeat friction. We are talking surgical precision, coupled with cutting velocity usually reserved for high-speed trains. The core brilliance lies in the HTZ 1200 Plus's specialized geometry, which delivers a glassy, defect-free surface finish at frankly obscene speeds. The Axolog 520 planer doesn't just process lumber, it asserts mechanical dominance. This isn't your grandfather's fussy old splitter. This is an expert instrument executing a terrifyingly precise 22-ton surgical strike. We are talking about the perfect, unholy marriage of brute force and obsessive precision. While lesser machines simply shred, the Axolog's hard metal blade laughs off timber up to 590 millimeters in diameter, effortlessly transforming raw logs into uniformly dimensioned boards. The core analysis reveals the true spectacle. 22 tons of splitting capacity focused keenly within the critical 30 millimeters to 250 millimeters operational range. The Woodmiser LT70 isn't just a sawmill, it's a structural engineer with a serious caffeine addiction. When we talk about processing 95 centimeter diameter logs, we are discussing trees that frankly should have retired years ago. The LT70 handles these arboreal behemoths, proving its robustness isn't just marketing fluff, it's metallurgical destiny. But the real genius lies in the analytical precision embedded within its operating core. How does it manage maximum work speed and terrifying efficiency while maintaining world-class cuts? By expertly mating an optimally sharp, near-mythical saw blade with a high-power engine that laughs in the face of friction.